Hi, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Jan Gordry, and today I'm going to talk about how to import the output folders of your sessions into a catalog. Well, you might wonder why you want to do this. I have a very simple reason for this. To me, it was always a little bit cumbersome to look for your finished photos in the finder because you have to open folders and search through every one of them. And yeah, it's just cumbersome. So I had to come up with a system that worked a lot better than this. So why not use the catalog for this? Uh, Capture One has all the tools in place to search for metadata and stuff like that. And you can actually see a lot more than when you use the finder, of course. So how do I utilize this? And how do I import them? Well, let's change the window a little bit and put my finder window next to it. Makes it a lot easier to go along with all the changes. Now, as you can see, I have a quite uh, nice system set up as per year and per uh, style of shooting. And I prefer this way because it's easier to find stuff and I just love being organized like that. You can see that the same is reflecting back in my collections. I've set up a project for every style and then an, uh, a group for the year and then albums for the sessions actually. And the folder uh, folders actually always reflect back how the system is set up actually. So that's fine with me. Uh, but I love, I love the consistency throughout everything. Then you don't get lost in your collections. So the easiest thing you do is I was, I left off here at Chateau Lumière, then I want to import Alla Italia. For simplicity reasons, I just copy the name from the finder, choose New Inside 2014, and then New Album. Give it the name for the new collection, and check to select collection after creation. Now to import them, it's quite easy. You just go to import. From the source, you go to choose folder. And the easiest way for me is just to open this folder and drag and drop the output folder into this window. And it automatically goes to the correct output folder in the correct sessions file or sessions folder for this matter. Check, click open. Now there's nothing showing up and that's actually quite normal because there are no pictures inside the output folder itself, but there are a few subfolders. Then you have to make sure you include subfolders. So there they are. As per destination, I prefer to choose the current location. I just yeah prefer it because then the files stay where they are. I know where they are and I, I like it that way. I don't like importing them into a catalog. It just gets confusing for me. I just keep them in the place where I know they are. As for the collection, I make sure I have selected uh, album, which reflects back to the album I highlighted here. So you gotta make sure this one is uh, selected. Otherwise you have to drag them manually to it afterwards and that's quite cumbersome. Just do it uh, right from the start. Then click import all, just remove the viewer window and voila, there they are. Now I can search and sift and look for them uh, from inside Capture One. It makes uh, a lot easier to find stuff back uh, from different, uh, from different projects, from different sessions. Um, there's one key thing I should uh, explain to you and show you. Now, when you go back to a session and uh, change a few things or, or do some adjustments to other photos and make a new output file of that, it obviously won't go into the output catalog by itself. You have to import it back into, um, but that's actually quite easy. So let's open this session. I'll just take a random picture here. Why are all my previews going going away that's odd never happened to me but okay oh they're coming back fine well there they are let's uh, uh i wanted to get this one okay let's go with this one 
I'll just do some very, very, very basic things to it. Just to make sure. You clearly see the difference. I've up the exposure a little bit, a little shadow. Well, it's perhaps not the look I was going for, but I'll desaturate it a bit so you can see it's a totally different photo. Okay, go to my recipes, choose a JPEG full res. Destination is set to the output folder, that's standard on a session, and that's why I love it. it keeps everything together. Click process, and it's done. Uh, we close this session. I'll just open the output folder. And there it is, new file, Alla Italia 33, full res. Now if you look here, there's nothing here, of course not, because I haven't imported it yet. So you want to make sure you, again, highlight the correct uh, collection you want it to go to. Then I go to Outputs, and then you choose Synchronize. Um, you got to make sure this box is unchecked. Because if it's checked, it doesn't see the new files somehow. I don't know if, it's, if this is uh, how the feature is supposed to work or if it's a bug. Uh, I'm not sure, but you have to uncheck it. And then Capture One can tell you, import one new image into Catalog. I'll prefer to show the importer, and I'll just explain why. Because you can check if you have everything uh, set correctly. So the destination is current, which is always the case when you synchronize, because synchronization means import the files that are here in this folder. And then a uh, collection that is set to a selected album, and check that you have selected the correct album, because if you haven't selected an album, you will get a, an exclamation mark here showing there's something wrong. So then you have to probably go back and select the right collection. Then I do import all, and something popped up here. It's this one. Voila, it's imported, and that's how you import your newly created uh, output files back into the catalog. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.